G'day guys, Wayne and Judy here from Down Under. This is that little um, Elna Industrial that we were talking about the other day. Um, basically designed on the 1950s design of the Elna Supermatic. Slightly heavier. Um, it has got a few differences. But it's just an absolutely gorgeous looking machine. So you can see underneath there, there's a little box. And that's your servo motor. So you can see across the front of it, you've got the little lever there for your speed. So it is an adjustable, but you can take it all the way down, speed wise. So the beauty of this one here is also the fact that you've got the free arm there. So you can take the whole table off and there's your free arm set up, cam wise. You've got the little cam and this is the difference with this one. On the Supermatic, the 50s variety, to swap the cam you've actually push a button, it's a push button release where this one has actually got a a nut or a threaded um, nut on it. But other than that, just looking at it, you'd probably say she's pretty much the same. This one here is stitch length, forward and reverse, stitch width, needle position, and other than that, I think it's um, just about pretty good. So we'll put this on and we'll give it a little bash and let you have a look and see how this operates. You can see there on the reverse, it's a little bit of a tension issue. So we'll try and get it up to maximum size thread. Stitch length. So just in general, looking at that, I'd say she's uh, so there we go here it's a very very neat looking machine as you can see very very quiet and um, all in all I should be using the knee lever for this So again, you can see there, that's a pretty darn good job. Um, I reckon you could probably put about 120 needle on this and you'll be able to do quite a bit of heavy stuff. But the mechanism underneath here, and we'll give you a look at... So you can see underneath there, it's really not a lot different. Possibly a little bit heavier, the bobbins may take a little bit more. But... Um, all in all, I'd say she's pretty adjacent. And um, what an absolute fantastic machine. So I personally think, if anybody's looking for something, which is a damn good workhorse, and a great home hobby machine, um, I think this is amazing. So thank you for your time, and uh, see you later, mate, from Down Under.